थैंक यू शिव कुमार जी सिद्धर भैया साहब परमेश्वर जी शिव कुमार जी ऑल ऑफ अस आर टुडे टू हाईलाइट ए सिंपल थिंग हाउ टू स्टील एन इलेक्शन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न देन द फोर्टी परसेंट कमीशन सरकार विच हैज स्टोलन द मनी ऑफ पीपल ऑफ कर्नाटका has is now attempting to perfect under mr basavaraj bommai the art of stealing the right of electorate to vote i want to tell all fellow kannadigas your vote your right to elect a representative is now being stolen by mr basavaraj bommai and his government fraud impersonation stealing water data and conspiracy of mr bommai and bbmp now stands exposed with documentary evidence election process is now being corrupted by the 40% commission sarkar shocking expose has now revealed that those sitting in the citadels of power including the chief minister mr basavaraj bommai they are overtly and covertly responsible for theft of voter data for fraud and impersonation chief minister basavaraj bommai his officials his government officers bbmp people and the election authority in karnataka they are all partners in crime in trampling democracy and in stealing people's right to vote that's the summary of uh, our submissions before people of karnataka today through you and there are some facts i want to give to you chief minister mr basuraj bommai is in charge minister for bbmp chief commissioner of bbmp Mr Tushar Girinath is also the electoral officer for Bangalore so he is cm and minister in charge he is chief commissioner of bbmp and election officer both a private entity by the name of chilume educational institute i'll call it a private entity they apply for permission to conduct voter awareness sure enough first permission is given for mahadevpura assembly and then for all 28 assemblies in the bangalore by a government order of 20th of august 2022 a copy of which we are sending to you the most intriguing part of this application is that this voluminous work this private entity with zero experience of voter awareness requiring hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people to go to every house they want to do it for free to the government they say we'll do it free of cost this entity as also two other entities one chilume enterprises private limited and one dap hombale private limited i am sure the word rings a bell to you i repeat dap hombale private limited if i am pronouncing it correctly they have common directors and owners the common link being a gentleman called krishnappa ravi kumar what does the other two company do they publicly profess if you go to them they say we are election management companies and the interesting part they say and i quote and quote they say we do evm preparation please mark evm preparation for political parties i have heard evm preparation by government for election i have never heard a company i have never heard a company which does evm preparation for political party that must be a unique first and it doesn't end here they also offer 
temporary polling personnel from every branch of government so you want a particular officer that's what how i understand simple english and i can be wrong for i come from a village you may know it better if i say i can provide all election officers for you that's what it means and they do so not for government but for political parties the same company also runs a voter app private survey app called digital samiksha and the company claims that digital samiksha app provides services to political parties as represented by mr shiv kumar to mps to mlas to corporators to aspirants fair enough somebody is doing a business on being granted permission to do voter survey for entire bangalore by the order of 20th of august 2022 they commit the first fraud of collecting voter data by impersonating themselves as block level officers blo booth level officers sorry booth, booth level officers. booth level officers booth level officers as we all know our government officers responsible for conducting verification of votes addition deletion and they do so in cohorts with obviously the minister in charge who is mr basavaraj gomai himself bbmp which is controlled for last three years by bjp government and mr basavaraj gomai in absence of elected representatives and the election authority they also issue them blo cards next time you will find in mr bommai's government somebody will issue a bla is officer principal secretary to cm card to a contracted employee and they will say these hundred are secretary science secretary technology etc etc these are the cards that they issue these are the set of cards that they issue identity cards they each one of them has word blo printed on them posing as officers of government of karnataka what they proceed to do is they proceed they go house to house and they collect information for every voter their caste gender sex address marital status aadhar card number email cell phone number all this they take away and what do they do with this information they don't upload it on garuda the app which is of election commission of india they upload it on digital samiksha which is a app owned by a private company for commercial payment for use by mps mlas corporators political parties they upload it there this is the so this is the third crime they commit number 1 impersonate themselves as government officers to issue fake identity cards to everybody three go and collect information from a voter which they cannot do and four upload that information onto their own digital app so that they can sell it for commercial gain they also subcontract number 5 this work to agencies across bangalore so i give it to him to him to him to him so while i'm committing murder i am also subcontracting murder to 10 other people you also go and commit murder on my behalf and voters gullible voters simple voters of of bangalore they give information thinking they are all government officers last fact is the proximity of this so called kingpin krishnappa ravi kumar also to a senior minister in the government a former deputy chief minister that is apparent from some pictures that have now since yesterday come into public domain and they are here i want to show them to you
this is the gentleman in front of you and these are the birthday celebrations making him eat cakes etc <coughs> to anybody in public eye this proves a very intriguing relationship after all a deputy chief minister or a senior minister doesn't go to feed you cakes or come to your birthday parties ever there must be some reason and lastly all these companies are situated in maleshwaram which is the constituency of the minister 16th 17th class and when one set of journalists confront them they say we are backed by influential politicians in karnataka so friends the fraud the impersonation the identity theft the theft the dishonest misappropriation of property misuse of stolen property criminal breach of trust criminal conspiracy and many other offenses mr ponanna and others have pointed out they are now apparent on part of minister in charge mr basavraj bommai who is also the chief minister government officers bbmp officers and sadly election authority our questions we have some questions from them <laughs> and then i will ask pcc president and clp leader and other colleagues to take over question number 1 to mr basuraj bomai who permitted a private entity chilume to act on behalf of election commission and bbmp simple question to be asked how were government orders 29 january 20th august 2022 uh, to, uh, issued giving authorization to this private entity they apply 19th august they get permission on 20th august wonderful they might as well applied on 20th august or 21st and got permission on 20th number 2 mr bommai why was an advertisement not ordered to be issued by you as in charge minister bbmp or the election authority either one of the three before giving election work to a private entity it's like the morbi bridge if i may compare bjp government in gujarat is doing that and mr bommai is doing it here why did you not advertise who recommended there are i am told about 50000 ngos and such private entities in karnataka how did you dream that came to your mind who recommended this private entity in the first instance to you why was Ms. minister in charge mr bommai bbmp election authority none of them checked the antecedents the work experience of this private ent entity and why did you not get alerted by the absolutely suspicious offer saying i will cover each household in entire bangalore free of cost i will charge no money from the government was it not enough to raise an alarm on the mal intent of the entity does it not prove that actually minister in charge the chief minister here bbmp bbmp chief commissioner and the election authority all were in cohorts in stealing the electorate's right to vote number 3 how was a private entity permitted to collect personal information of each one of our kannadiga brothers and sisters in all constituencies of bangalore is it not a clear cut theft it's nothing short of theft a breach of privacy and a fraud played upon every innocent voter in bangalore number 4 how can contracted contracted employees of a private entity 
masquerade themselves as government officers of Karnataka. And we also issued block level officers identity cards. Booth level officers identity card. Under section 13B2 of the Representation of People Act, only a government servant, a servant in semi-government entity or a local body can be a BLO. Nobody else. That's the law. Parliament has written it. Then how are employees of a private entity being permitted to be booth level officers or BLOs in violation and negation and by rejecting the letter of the law as also its spirit? Can personal data of voters, sex, gender, age, telephone number, Aadhaar number, voter ID number, marital status, all other personal information, which is now protected by right to privacy besides other things, can it be uploaded to a commercial private app, digital samiksha in this case? which advertises itself that they are working for commercial gain by selling that data. To whom? To political parties, to MPs, to MLAs, to corporators. They may be well, very well working for BJP, for they haven't given this data to Mr. Shiv Kumar or to Mr. Siddharamaya. Is this a concerted attempt to steal the election? <coughs> My last question, friends, is what is the relationship between Mr. Basavaraj Gomai, Mr. Ashwat Narayan and these three entities? And the very fact that the three entities are based in Maleshwaram, operating out of Maleshwaram, almost adjoining houses and streets, and the minister is going and celebrating and cutting cake for the person who is the principal accused, raises a finger of suspicion on his role and responsibility. The sum and substance of this conspiracy is to deny the ordinary voter a right to vote, commit fraud, commit theft, commit impersonation. All these offences have been already committed. And the responsibility lies first and foremost at the doorsteps of in charge minister of BBMP which is Mr. Basavaraj Bomai, he must resign for being a conduit or a party or a patent or latent knowledge, uh, someone having knowledge to this electoral fraud that is being played right bang in the center of the most IT savvy city uh, uh, of the country and the capital of the state. Nothing less, nothing more will do. Of course, election authority is responsible, BBMP is responsible, chief commissioner is responsible, and a, they, there has to be an FIR against Mr. Basavraj Bomai. He has to be arrested. Anyone else committing such a serious crime would have been arrested. If you were a journalist, if you had even done 5% of that, you wouldn't have got a bail for three months. Chief Minister has to go behind bars and a full investigation has to take place. I would now request my senior colleagues who has to do the investigation. Who has to do the investigation? This investigation, the, the guilty person is sitting at the topmost echo lens of power, prima facie. The rest has to come out in the investigation. So it has to be completed within 30 days under direct supervision of Chief Justice of the Karnataka High Court. Nothing more, nothing less. That's what the end of justice call for. And I, my compliments to all the journalists who have been pursuing this, my colleague Mr. Rizwan Arshad, George Saab, Ramalinga ADG, many other friends, they have also been actively pursuing it. My compliments to them also that an electoral fraud which would have led to stealing the election has been exposed. Uh, the matter is in people's court. Party will take some necessary follow-up actions. 
Mr. Siddharamaya, Mr. Shiv Kumar will speak to you about them. I also want to take the take your liberty because I have another engagement and they are here to answer all the questions. Uh, I now request CLP leader and PCC president to brief you. I'm going to take permission and go. Then you answer the question. No, sir. Then may I no may, may I say? May I respectfully say? Both our PCC president, CLP leader, and people who have <coughs> conducted their own investigation, the working president, our MLA, our senior colleagues are all here. I have only spoken based on what has they have investigated and they have come out with. They are here to take every question. I would have been most happy. There was an important engagement. That's why I came and I, because of me, the press PC was late. Uh, and uh, but that was the order from the party, so I will adhere to that order. I will now request my senior colleagues to speak. <laughs> sir, sir, they will take every question. They will not go away. So you start. We want you to answer that. Just, just two questions, sir. Sir, yeah. the best person who knows the state is Mr. Here. Shiv Kumar and Mr. Siddharamaiah. They to answer your question. They know the Please. state far better than me. They also know Mr. Bomai far better than me <laughs> and his tactics. Of a Moni Baba and then stealing Baba. away the electorates. Yes, yes, yes.